Okay, brothers, you've seen me made a lot of inflammatory messages over the last few days with, in relation to this whole Trumpism, the Trump campaign. What I told you was I did not stand on the side of racism. Okay, that was my message. Now, there's a startup company called Grubhub. And other companies out there, let me read to you this report. In the wake of the most divisive presidential election in recent U.S. history, leaders of tech companies comforted their employees in different ways. Tim Cook sent Apple employees a note urging them to move forward together. Mark Zuckerberg said he was feeling hopeful watching the election results with daughter Max. Sherpa Ventures... Uh, Managing Director Shervin uh, Pishavar suggested that California succeed from the rest of the United States. That's the idiocy that I blame on, blamed on Texas when, uh, when Obama started winning. That's stupid. While 500 Startups um, founder Dave McClure went on an expletive-laden rant on stage at a tech conference in Portugal. Uh, Matt Maloney, the CEO of Grubhub, took things even further in a company-wide email sent to his employees on Wednesday, asking them to resign if they shared President-elect uh, Donald Trump's values. Now, notice he said values. I absolutely, quoting, reject the nationalist anti-immigration and hateful politics of Donald Trump and will work to shield our community from this movement as best as I can, Maloney said. If you do not agree with this statement, then please reply to this email with your resignation because you have no place here. We do not tolerate hateful attitudes on our team. Uh, they go on to write, had Trump worked at Grubhub, Maloney said, his actions wouldn't have been tolerated. Quoting, while demeaning, insulting, and ridiculing, uh, ridiculing minorities, immigrants, and the physically slash mentally disabled uh, work for Trump, I want to be clear that his behavior and these views have no place at Grubhub, he wrote in a memo initially reported by Fox News. Imagine them reporting something against Donald Trump. We know about Fox News, brothers. But Bill the racist O'Reilly and Tom the, or Sean the idiot, Hannity. Uh, continuing, Maloney told Fox News that almost 20% of his employees later thanked him for sending the memo. And those are probably the minorities within the group. And the few, uh, as the Trumpers like to call us, or call them, liberalists. I'm more in the middle. I lean right, I lean left conservative and a little bit of a liberal I can't stand extremes but those people are wacko on both sides anyway continuing the market however did not take kindly to Maloney's um, notable note and shares the Chicago uh, shares of the Chicago sorry Chicago based food delivery company plunged 5% on Friday Maloney tells Forbes he hasn't received any resignation letters and later clarified his initial memo he goes, I want to clarify that I did not ask for anyone to resign if they voted for Trump, he wrote. I would never make such a demand. To the contrary, the message of the email that we do not tolerate discriminatory activity or hateful commentary in the workplace and that we will stand up for our employees. We need more companies like his, those of us who are minorities. If you're not a minority, you have no idea what it's like to walk in our shoes. You live in that bubble world that I've talked about as I was trying to communicate on my uh, private Facebook account to certain people. They live in a bubble world. They have no idea of, of what's going on outside of their little world. They go to work. They make over, you know, 75000 up usually. And um, uh, they go home. They have their wine, their cheese. They, they watch a little bit of tu tube. They get all that rhetoric from their Republican Party and they go to bed. They go to on their vacations a year. They have no idea what's going on in the real world. They're out of touch with the real reality. And many of them really don't care. 
That's just it. They just don't care. You know, I'm in this world. You're in your world. Leave me alone. Maloney's remarks result in a flurry of angry tweets with some people claiming they'd never place an order with Grubhub again. Fortunately for those quitting Grubhub in protest, there's no lack of startups willing to deliver a breakfast sandwich to their doorsteps. And that's the good news. One fellow wasn't, this morning wasn't aware of how many racist people were out there. And speaking of that bubble... As you guys know, I research this stuff. I speak on it and against it. Wherever racism and injustice and hatred raises its ugly, evil head, I'll always fight against it. And that's what I was fighting against on Trump's side. Nothing to do with this personal politics. I don't care for the men myself. You know, I don't believe in going up touching women's privates like that. At one time, my race, and I've seen the photos, just looking at a Caucasian woman would, get, would have gotten us killed. I've seen the photos. I've seen the photos of boys tied to trees and set on fire. I've seen the photos of a mother and her son hunging, hung dead from a tree, actually from a bridge. As I said, I research this. I speak on it. So I know what's going on. I know the current environment. So you Trumpers who came to my channel, uh, s talking all that shit, you, you got banned. And not because of Trump politics. I don't believe in touching women like that. Um, I don't believe in raping 13-year-old girls. That's just me. That may fit your culture, your lifestyle, or your fantasies or whatever. There's no place on my channel for that type of behavior or ideology. Just like the Grubhub, there's no place here for that. Okay? As I find you out, I'll keep banning you. If you're on my forum, I'll keep banning you from my forum. And it's not that you supported Trump. As they once said, you know, when good men do nothing, look at Nazi Germany, they did nothing. Know that you actually participate in doing nothing when you know the man's values. Okay? But that's your choice. He promised to bring good. Let's see what he does. You know, then we, we could do about it. I wasn't healed though as a caller fan. I know that. As I told you, I saw both sides of it. And tried to give you the the from the perspective of game. Trump has game. Trump has serious game. He's able to able to put his mind or sorry, his words in your mind and pimp you out like that? That's a strong game. I can respect that. I may not like what he's done with his life and his values, but I can at least respect that about him. Peace.